Listen, let me explain how I'm feeling right now. Through my entire plans, everything I had to do, I just threw it off track, all the places I had to go, closed, closed, closed. And guess what? I look crazy. I to be free. Hello friends, I am back um, with the vlog. I know you're like things have changed around you and they have. Uh, my parents moved into their dream home and I am going to be moving out of this dream home into Los Angeles in two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven days. And I'm not thinking, sorry, I love that song. Um, I'm moving in seven days. I haven't packed anything. I bought my ticket. It's a one way. I can't change it. Um, but I want to start vlogging again because um, I love vlogging. And I want to show you guys my transition coming from Jersey, like I'm a Jersey girl, uh, to moving to Los Angeles because I think it's going to be a culture shock. I love it out there. I was out there in September when I decided to do this. And I just started working like every single day try to make this happen and now it's happening and I'm like I don't know it feels some days I feel like I'm drowning and other days I feel like I'm just doing the backstroke through this whole experience but either way y'all pray for me and I'm um, so without further ado I'm gonna just start telling you and showing you guys what's going on with me so I said I was gonna show you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is the good, the bad, well more like the ugly. Murphy's Law is real and it has taken effect on my life and I am really feel like I'm about to lose it. Like I have, like we had this huge storm, this huge snowstorm, like I, can I even see? Like I'll show you guys, this is seriously, there's snow all on the ground. Like this is, this is the view, oh wait, it's just white. It just looks white because there's so much snow like and that and that's like it has gone down significantly anyway the problem here is that it stormed and it really threw my entire plans everything i had to do it just threw it off track all the places i had to go closed 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 and guess what i look crazy i feel crazy foot locker is playing with me <laughs> they really playing with me my car transport is playing with me like i played myself by not doing nothing to my hair like i can't and then i have all this stuff to load in this car before i go and i just want to get my toes done and i just i don't have any words i'm trying not to complain everybody's like oh my god are you so excited aren't you so excited aren't you so excited aren't you so excited aren't you so excited no i'm not excited I don't feel very happy. I don't feel very enthused right at the moment. I mean, wait a minute, hold on. Let me stop, Lord. You right? You right? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. See, told y'all. I'm sad. Like I really, I really feel bad because Cam came with us. Came with me and my mom. Ooh, my shvar is falling. Cam came with me and um and mom and she was. She was really like emotional about it and I feel really bad because I feel like she thinks I'm leaving her and I'm not leaving her. I just have other things I have to do. I just have to sacrifice so that we can have more later and I just, I just hope she understands that. I said bye to Jackson and he's just the sweetest thing ever. He just gave me a hug and he gave me a kiss on the cheek. He wasn't sad. He didn't try to make me feel bad or anything. And not that he would try, but he he didn't. And uh, he just wanted to show me his nerf his new nerf gun that he was really excited about. I have arrived. I live in, I live in I live in LA. I live I live in LA. Where do you live? I live in LA. Yo, I'm gassed. I gotta call my mom. She wrote me this really, really nice letter, and she gave me these her, these earrings that I've been like eyeing. And it's funny. Hope she doesn't watch this, but I actually went into her room to try to steal these earrings from her and couldn't find them nowhere. And I was like, dang. I ain't say dang. I said something else. 
raining in Los Angeles. How about that? I am in the Uber right now. She's going to get gas. I said, that's fine. I forget that people have to pump their own gas here though, because I'm from Jersey. But uh, yeah, I'm headed to my interview. Uh, I don't know if I want to say where it is. It's because, you know, like, if it don't work out, I don't want to, no, no shade, no tea, no problems, you know, but head front to my interview, really excited. And I will let you guys know how it goes. And I'm wearing my earrings that my mom gave me, too. Felicia Michelle, I have an interview at 1 o'clock today. Oh, awesome. Thanks. Just waiting right here I was waiting downstairs earlier Mondo came up and now I'm just waiting here for my interview because I'm early but I'm usually I try to be early because my mom likes me to be early because she hates being late however I'm always late and I'm a little out of breath because I'm like nervous does that happen to anybody else like when you get nervous you're like It was lit. I'm just waiting for my Uber right now, but it's raining, so I'm gonna stand in this little doorway here. I'm gonna struggle to get cell phone reception right now. I'm hyped. It was, it was lit. I'm hyped. Listen, let me explain how I'm feeling right now. Oh, you don't like when people put you on the spot. You put me on the spot. At least you dress nice. At least you look decent. Do you know what I just did? No. How about you tell us? What did you buy this day? I just got booked for my first thing. Like, it is tomorrow at 9.30. I'm looking for the bag and feeling hella distant. In a place far away from what I'm used to.